Hello all, this is D Swank. I am in Space Engineers, and, well, something I have been thinking about doing, and I ran this past Fuzzy, and we kind of okayed this, so, um, since we didn't get to the point where we could build the ship that we wanted in the survival, the one that I'd created in the background and wanted to bring forward, um, I'm in the world with it, and as you can see, it's the asteroid world, there's no planets or anything, but here it is, this is the Durandal, and I'm actually not doing as bad as I thought I would, um, it feels like it's running really crappy, but it's not, however, uh, okay, those are fixed. Uh, when I first loaded in, some of the gun models were not loaded correctly. But, as you can see, despite how big this is, I have 100 sim speed, and my FPS and everything else is pretty good, but you can see my CPU load has taken off. Um... It's a big ship. Very big ship. Um, got a lot of guns on it. Uh, this variant, we went with the uh, Mexpex guns on it. I really like the way those guns look on it. In particular. We've got conning tower. Things like this. Heavily influenced. Actually, almost directly copied. From... A um, there there was a mod for uh, Sins of a Solar Empire uh, call that took place in a I don't know know what I'd call it but it's a uh, I guess an open source science fiction universe called Path to Victory. and it's pretty much based off of or a space engineer's version of one of the Russian cruisers in that game. So, here we... I'm going to start on the outside and then work my way in. So, up at the top, I did a lot of detail work for kind of antennas and things across the top. Uh, we have the conning tower all through here. And, yeah. Let me see. Am I... Okay. There we go. That's a little better. Conning tower. Um... Ah. I'm trying to get the spectator camera to work well. Um... Have three of the heavy Mexpec. Uh, battery is. We have a lot of the point defense guns here, and we have one heavy and some point defense stuff at the back. Uh, as you can see, the hangar bay is at the back. It's a relatively large one, and we have this ramp off the back, which I really like. And at the back, we actually only have five thrusters. One is that huge thruster there. Then we have these defenses across the bottom. Uh, the fins. No real firepower on the bottom half of the ship. Um, we have fixed forward guns. In one version of this, I had um, uh, the 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 seeking missiles and in fact I still have the seeking missile turret here the, the targeting turret but as you can see the uh, the new guns here kind of block that uh, we have a couple of heavy weapons forward or heavy turreted weapons we have the name of the ship some little detail throughout it. And yeah, 
Now, the interior of the ship has a lot of wasted space. But I'm going to start, start with the bridge. And control shift space, F6. And here I am. So, it's kind of a combination of the fantasy style bridge that you see in, um, well, Star Wars. And the command and control that you see in um, Battlestar Galactica. Now, being up here on top of the con tower does make it incredibly... Well, it's a bullet trap. Most people would shoot at it, things like that, but... A, a lot of sci-fi have that. Uh, Star Trek, the bridge is on top of the ship, but they have a battle bridge. I have a battle bridge. But this is basically would be where the uh, uh, ship is commanded from most of the time. Now through here, this is an empty room currently, but this would be kind of the um, office area for the command crew when they weren't on the bridge proper. Then over here, we have a stairway and elevator. Goes down. Uh, window looking out. And the windows on here so far are all the shutter. Except for uh, the windows on the bridge. But mess hall. And the mess in there. And then down we go again. And this would have been, if we'd gone through with it, we have the teleporter room. And, let's see. Okay, this is the early med room. At one point I was considering having personal rooms there, but, yeah. This kind of would become, uh, I guess, just a rec room, you could call it. I might turn it into a gym or something like that. Uh, down we go here. We have cryo bay storage. And this, actually, I don't have the, the button set up, but this looks over the, um, uh, hangar bay. This would be hangar bay control here. There's the the doors. Close that. These are currently closed. The hangar bay is on the other side and these elevators take us down into the bowels of the ship. And yes, it's completely pressurized. Okay, so this would be airlock. Again, I'm not finished with that airlock. But as you can see, there's the hangar bay from this side. And then we have airlocks here with a little med room and things like that. Back here we have the gyro hall, which I want to give it a little more flair. Um, especially after doing the small ship build off. Um, there's a lot of flare stuff that I figured out how to do that I'd like to implement in something like this. And now we have kind of engineering area and lower crew. Uh, this is the actual battle bridge proper. Right here. Uh, over here, this is the programming server area and this is just a bunch of space that I still need to figure out what to do with it over here more industrial looking stuff um, back here I have a lot of open space that I can do stuff with not really sure yet what to do here this up here would be 
processing for um, the industrial section of the ship, engineering, whatever have you. And it's set up that you could control the ship from down here, back here. And this is kind of the industrial zone. Uh, that wall at the far end, that is where the uh, thruster is. Uh, I set it up so that these giant tanks that are there, there's four of them on that side and four of them on that side that go all the way back. And those only hold ice. So we're going to need a lot of fuel to fuel this. And we'd have plenty of stuff that we could do interior-wise to make this thing pop. I didn't want to fully build it until, well, I wanted to put the finishing touches on it in, our, uh, in the game itself. Everything to customize it. This is another airlock. Um, takes us out. There's those big forward guns. And honestly, with everything on here, I'm amazed at how good my frames and simulation speed are going. This is the reactor control room. There's the reactor room. And that's probably my favorite part of the ship. Is the reactor room. got glass, we've got warp reactors all tied in there and up there, and these reactors. Um, we've got the jump drives, which I like the way that looks back there. And we have the nanite forge here, which when it's all running together looks really sweet. This is very much one of my favorite builds I have done. Um... Then, if we keep going down, which I believe we have to use the elevators for the next down phase. Yep. We have refineries. We have piping. Don't believe there's a door out. It swings around to the back. We have connectors here that you can pull stuff out of. I don't know why that block's missing. See the bottom of the jump drive room. Uh, doors that we can use to get in there. And I was going to try and seal that up, but I guess I missed it. Um, and it's just kind of this bowels of the ship area. Which I like. I like this feel. We've got these windows on the side that you can see out. Um, down here as we progressed and did things that was kind of where the uh, uh, the crew bunks were going to be put in and stuff like that so down here is where the actual guts of the ship are as you can see there's a huge amount of open space that we were going to integrate stuff in and do stuff this is a um repulsor module, these, more gyroscopes, um, just not a whole lot of space down here, not a lot of important stuff down here, uh, probably once things started, if we wanted to expand, this would have a lot of crew quarters, decks like that throughout it. Um, let's go back up, close the door, but yeah, that's kind of the tour of the ship. Now, is it F8? Yes. Alright. Control shift space, F6, we're back on the bridge, and something that I know everybody would like to see. Let's see how well she performs. And how the computer performs as I maneuver.
accelerating. She accelerates really quick, and the computer's not having that much of an issue. I mean, for a ship of its size, it accelerates pretty fast. I mean, I'm already up to 50 meters a second. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. And... Hundred. And then she stops reasonably quick as well. About the same, same rate. And turns reasonably well. Alright. There, let's turn towards the rock. So yeah, turns reasonably well, stops reasonably well, and you, I have accelerated in a straight line and managed to keep the nose of this thing pointed at an asteroid while at while drifting at a hundred meters a second as we went by on something about this far away ooh looks like fuzz was hurt we may have a stream issue uh give me a second i'll be back all right so sorry about that uh stream may be well, since this is going to be on Friday, the planned stream for Thursday may be canceled because um, I don't know uh, all the details, but um, uh, ooh, and my simulation speed actually decreased just then. I wonder why. Okay, we're back up. But Fuzz um, was rear-ended in a work truck, and... Um, well, everybody that follows my channel and his knows that he's, uh, he's worn out, just the same, kind of the same way I am, and that probably hurt him a lot, so, um, yeah. Uh, sorry if the stream isn't up. But yes, this is what we were planning on building. Uh, let's get a full block count info uh, on her and full weight. Uh, just shy of 30,000 blocks, which is when I started building her where I, I didn't want to go over 30,000. So I'm happy. 30,000 blocks. Um... A sixth of the, well, a fifth. Is that right? Six. No. A tenth? I'm not, no, no. It'd be a fifth. It'd be a fifth. Oh, my math. A fifth of the blocks are non-armor. Everything else is armor. Um... Gravity generators, too. Uh, do we have a mass for this thing? Uh, artificial mass. Physical shapes. I thought there was a physical mass info on this. Like, how much the ship weighed. Grid mass, there. I is blind. 87, almost 88 million units. So, yeah, she she's nice. I like her. She's a little chubby. But, yeah, I, I like her. I like her. Um, I hope that... Uh, Y'all like her. Uh, I think Fuzz and I are still planning on doing a um, a large ship build off once we do the small ships for whatever we're going to take up from here. Um, 
because we do want to explore and do things like that. Uh, we may do something silly where we find a ship or something. I don't know. We're gonna. We may have to do a story element since real life broke things. Um, but yeah, this was because we don't want to have to restart again. And we like the idea of traveling in a large ship and exploring. So, um, this ship, probably bigger than either of the other two we're going to put together. Uh, I can't guarantee it, but probably. And it's kind of the, the third option for what we're going to be cruising around the universe in. Um, when we do our personal builds, we're probably going to be building, or our competitive build, we're probably going to be using all the mods that we have on this, but trying to figure out from there. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. hope you enjoyed looking at the Durandal. Or the, the Dunwich, sorry. The Durandal is another one of my older designs. Um, but yeah. Oh god, that's a lot of forward firepower, isn't it? But yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Until then, buh bye bye